What's up everyone? Mason McGavick here. So this behind me uh, is our XB SCCA Miata. With that, the new rules came out and there is a class minimum weight. Now it is with driver, but that class minimum weight is, is 2330 with the driver. Now for me, I weigh about 220 pounds right now. Uh, I'm on a diet right now, so I hope by autocross season I'll be about or be about 200. Uh, so that means that our car can have a minimum weight of right around 2130. So that's what we're gonna try getting this car down to. Now, there's a couple things that we have that, you know, we can remove that's pretty easy. Uh, and then there's some things that we're gonna have to open up some, some body panels. So let's take a look. So I don't have super accurate numbers on this car as it sits. Um, just because I've gone to semi truck trailer scales and right now it weighs about 2250 now uh, You know, we have about 120 pounds that we need to remove to get close to that minimum weight now I kind of want some buffer because I don't want to be under at nationals and I don't want someone else to be driving the car and can't do it So we can have a, a weight buffer. So let's aim for a hundred pounds weight reduction uh, on this car now one thing you'll note this weight of 2250 does include all of our arrow, so that's good. So one of the things that I do plan on doing in this, and I actually have a box full of goodies over there, is do a lightweight battery. So that's gonna be our first step. I think that's gonna easily knock off 30, maybe even uh, up to 40 pounds. So let's take a look at what I currently have and what we're gonna be putting in. So right here, you'll see a very uh, standard Walmart battery. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. It's still, I think a lead acid is what they consider them. Uh, as you can see, it does leak with the, the hard G's. I need to clean this entire mess up. It's utterly disgusting. The mount never really worked properly. It's just a poor execution on my part. This was a last minute idea or planning from uh, trying to get this car running. So I'm gonna pull this battery out and then we'll dive in. So here's that old battery. It's an Everstart VP65. It's heavy. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'm going to weigh it real quick or weigh myself, weigh the battery with me holding it. And then we'll do all of that with the new battery. So it's even worse than I originally thought. Right now we're at 42 pounds for just that battery. Now that we, uh, we know our starting weight, let's go take a look at the new battery that we got. And I'll show you a little bit more about what we're going to put in this thing. So this right here is a Braille lightweight AGM battery. They claim six pounds. Of course, we're gonna test that here. Uh, here's some of the stats. It's 527 cranking amps, or pulse cranking amps of 527, like I said, 10 amp hours. Uh, it's really small overall that you'll see. And I'll try to get you some more stats right now. All right, so I got some notes pulled up for this. So this battery, uh, short circuit, current 760 amps, uh, cranking amps at 32 degrees Fahrenheit is 283. Cold cranking amps at zero is 210. Uh, reserve capacity of 20 minutes. So this is one of their advanced batteries. So I believe it'll reserve, um, you know, kind of when it gets below a certain voltage threshold, it puts it in re reserve. So now that we know kind of the, uh, all the stats of cold cranking amps, burst current or pulse cranking amps and all that stuff, uh, I used the, or I used some of the Focus RS lightweight battery options that those guys run as kind of a, a baseline. Now these these batteries, this Braille had some pretty good reviews on a couple different battery websites. I ended up uh, Abby actually got it for me for Christmas from Jegs, about 145, 150 bucks I think. Um, and now we're gonna go actually weigh and see you know how close their claim is. They say six pounds. I think 6.9 is. Um, what it actually is. So yeah, we'll check it out right now. Let's, let's see what it weighs. So actual weight, 7.2 pounds. Now the scale might not be the most accurate, but that's what we got for tools right now. So that puts us right under a 35 pound weight drop with just swapping to this battery. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, get this thing ready. It has some bolt on terminals that we can use. I'm gonna get that ready, lock tight those real quick so they never vibrate loose. And then uh, we'll start getting this thing installed. I might have to make some modifications to the, uh, the actual battery mount because look how much smaller this thing is. So for reference, I mean, I don't have massive hands but this battery is so freaking tiny. 
Look at that compared to the 65 series battery. <laughs> it's actually kind of pathetic of how uh, we're not even using this battery tray anymore. Uh, I do like how the battery tray spreads out the load for the actual clamps. It's just kind of weird that <laughs> it's not even sitting in the battery tray anymore. It's just sitting right on the factory. So anyway, I am going to probably keep this. We'll know more once I put the terminals on, if we can keep this up. I'm going to do some cleaning and then I'll show you guys the finished product when it's all said and installed. Got all the battery in, uh, modified the mount a little bit. All I had to do is shorten these uh, all threaded studs. Battery fits in there really nice. I decided to uh, put it over on that side because this uh, triangulated mount just gets me some more room over there. If I slid it all the way over to this side, it'd be pretty close to the terminals. And I, I, you know, I don't want those to be touching. I might come in uh, later and make a little block out of plastic or, um, or maybe wood right here just to add some support, but I can grab this battery and I'm shaking the whole car and it's not even trying to move. So everything worked out pretty good. These terminals are pretty tapered and they have a nice knurl to them. And my, my tapered uh, battery terminals fit right on, no questions asked. So now the big question is, will the car start? So let's go through the entire process. Oh, I gotta go get the key. Right now it's showing 12 and a half volts. All right, and when we put the key in, this will be the first, uh, first time it's ever seen power draw. Let's see if it starts. Not too bad. So now that we have 35 pounds roughly removed from this car, um, let's think of some other ways that, that we can start saving some weight. Now, most of the stuff we won't be doing in this video, I wanna just kinda highlight that we saved 35 pounds from a battery alone. But as we can see, uh, there's not much interior left we can remove. Um, I already have pretty lightweight seats, the doors are still intact, but I do have the speakers removed on both sides up front. Another thing I was planning on doing is doing some Lexan windows and these corner windows and a couple other previous Miatas. I had some with the cutouts here with the little air pockets. They fit in there really nice and that, that's some weight. That's only about three pounds or so. And the big one, soft top. So I've talked about it in previous videos, but this main hoop sits up a little too high for all the hard tops. So because a nice uh, you know, OEM hardtop does not fit and I don't want to cut it up, what I'm going to try doing is get a Treasure Coast or there's another couple like CCP um, crop top. So it's a hardtop that would help with the aerodynamics, but it stops right here. So it doesn't come all the way down and it doesn't even, I think it comes right here to where the window goes. If I need to, I can cut that. I can mount it directly to the cage and make it easily removable with some rivnuts and things. 
but the main point of it is to help with the airflow over the car and to the wing. Now, that's one option. Another option I've seen people do just steel panels right here. That's a little bit uglier. I would prefer to do a crop top. And then the third option is if I can find a kind of abused, beat up, full hard top, what I can do is literally just cut out the corners of the hard top and have a, a fiberglass guy kind of mold over these hoops. Then I have a full hard top. Rear glass could probably stay in all. It might have to get uh, replaced with a Lexan rear window. But if I do uh, a full hard top, that's gonna help with airflow a lot more. It's just a matter of getting these <laughs> underneath something. You know, if I do a hard top, I don't want it to be as impractical as if I just remove the soft top alone. So that means that I need to be able to park the car outside if it's raining. Probably won't happen all that often, but it still needs to be able to do that and keep water or most of the elements out. So even if I just put some fiberglass over and made a, you know, an adapter, so to say, uh, cap for that soft top or hard top, that's what I'll do. So, so with that being said, this video is going to be finished up for the weight reduction stuff that we just did today with the new battery, uh, but then also kind of of our plans moving forward, target weight for this vehicle and all that. So anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope that it might have uh, sparked a little uh, bit of research for you to go see that you could lose up to 35 pounds on just a battery alone, uh, stuff like that. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next video. Thanks.